The G305 is the cheapest light speed wireless gaming mouse that Logitech makes, but it was introduced way back in 2018, which means it's definitely not the newest in the lineup. But at the time of this recording, you can pick one up for just 50 US dollars, which means if it's anywhere near as good as Logitech's other light speed gaming mice, it's probably going to be worth checking out. So let's see what the G305 can offer gamers right now in 2020. The retail box is pretty small and it's got some specs and other info printed all over it. When you get it open, there's a little cardboard tray that slides out that's got all sorts of stuff in it. There's a Logitech G sticker, a little booklet that says, thanks for buying the mouse. The mouse itself comes all wrapped up in some protective packaging to prevent scratches and other damage during shipping. There's a USB cable that can be used to get the receiver closer to the mouse to improve the wireless connection. And finally, there's a standard AA battery. My initial reaction after getting the mouse unboxed was like, I can't believe how small this thing is. It measures about 117 millimeters long, 62 millimeters wide, and about 38 millimeters tall, which is pretty small, but at the same time, it's not ultra lightweight because the weight comes in just a tad under 100 grams, which by today's standards in 2020, especially for mice this size, is actually really heavy. There's mice out there that are this size and even bigger that can come in like half that amount in terms of weight. So this thing is definitely on the heavier side. So if you're going to consider the G305, size and weight are two really important things to keep in mind. You got to be okay with a mouse that's more on the smaller side, a small form factor, but at the same time, it's something that's going to be heavier than what we're used to seeing right now in 2020. The G305 has a total of six programmable buttons. Two of them are on the left side that you can actuate with your thumb, and the rest are just on the top. The left and right primary buttons use mechanical switch tensioning that is supposed to reduce the amount of force needed to make a click. And the result is nice, fast, and reliable button performance. On the bottom, there's some low friction PTFE feet, but they're really small compared to what we're used to seeing on a lot of other mice that are out there these days. And we also have an on off switch and of course the 12,000 DPI optical hero sensor. To get the mouse ready to go, you have to remove the top cover by sliding it backward. This opens up the battery compartment and it's also where the wireless USB receiver gets stored. And the mouse takes a standard AA battery. You just have to insert it and you're good to go. Logitech claims that you can get up to 250 hours of battery life on a single AA battery. That's really good, and I think we can thank that super power efficient optical hero sensor for that. And if you wanna be able to monitor the battery levels, there's this little LED indicator on top of the mouse that'll start to light up when you reach 15% or less battery life. There's also a digital battery level indicator inside Logitech's G-Hub software if you just want to use that. It's pretty plain and basic, but still better than nothing. And this software is required in order to customize the mouse in any way. So you can set custom commands, actions, and macros. And this is where you can set your DPI settings and also select a polling rate all the way up to 1000 Hertz. And then right here, we have some power modes. Right now it's set to low or endurance. And I actually don't recommend using that because it keeps your polling rate all the way down at 125. If you select high performance, that's what gives you the option to select 1000 hertz as your polling rate so i always recommend leaving it in high performance mode the g305 fit my hand perfectly and worked awesome for fingertip and claw gripping but i noticed that it felt a little bit awkward if i tried to palm grip it and i have small to medium sized hands so i think anyone with larger hands palm gripping is probably going to be out of the question because your fingertips are going to want to drag across the outside of the desk because there's just not enough mouse to fit everything so keep that in mind if you have large hands but in terms of overall performance this thing just did awesome and i think that's to be expected from logitech's optical hero sensors they're just good performing sensors all around Around. They've proven that time and time again, and there's no difference here. So I tested it on this cloth surface and also just on the bare desk surface, and both ways worked perfectly fine.
The G305 keeps costs down by leaving out unnecessary features like RGB backlighting and crazy sky-high DPI sensors, but it leaves in all the good stuff that makes a great gaming mouse, like Logitech's light speed wireless technology, good battery life, and that awesome high performance 12,000 DPI optical hero sensor. So if you don't care about lighting and crazy 20,000 DPI, then for 50 bucks you can pick up the Logitech G305. And I will tell you, it's a damn good gaming mouse even right now in 2020. So the purchasing links are gonna be right down here in the description of this video. If you pick one up, leave us a comment and let us know what you think about it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.